Bosco's Woodland Days is a Warner Brothers Bosco cartoon from 1932. This is directed by Hugh Harmon with a voice cast including Rudolf Ising and Johnny Murray. And there's nothing necessarily bad about this. There's nothing that I can pinpoint as saying it didn't work, I didn't enjoy it. But at the same time, I didn't enjoy it. I just felt like this one wasn't that interesting. It starts off with Bosco and Bruno in the woods and they're playing which I did like. I thought that was very cute because Bosco counts first and Bruno hides and then Bruno is counting. He's leaning against a tree with his eyes closed. It's very, very cute. For those couple of seconds, I actually would say I enjoyed it. And then Bosco ends up being transported into this much more mythical version of the woods where we have a lot of dancing and and it's absolutely fine. I can't say it's badly done. The animation is okay. There's a lot of detail to some of the characters. It's definitely a very busy environment. And it's quite quite uplifting in a lot of ways. But at the same time, I just found it to be kind of dull. I didn't really find what was engaging. While none of the characters we meet there are, are badly animated or necessarily badly done, I just didn't find any of them to be that interesting. For me, Boston Days. It's kind of a boring cartoon. It's not a bad cartoon, but it's not very entertaining either. It's absolutely fine. The animation is fine. Bosco and Bruno are perfectly like it. It flows well enough. The pacing isn't too bad. But at the end of the day, I didn't think it was an enjoyable cartoon. Would I recommend it? Only if you're already a fan of Bosco. If you like the character of Bosco, if in general you like the cartoons, then I'd say, sure, check it out. It is not bad. But if you're just looking for a good cartoon, or indeed if you're new to Bosco, I'd say don't make this the one you start with. There are many significantly better ones. It's fine. It's okay. It works well enough, but I wouldn't be watching it again.